I, I remember thinking, I have to find something that nobody else is doing. You know, completely new, crazy thing, so that I am the first there, and, um, and then I can take the whole market because I am a genius. Nobody else thought about this uh, specific thing. Hopefully, since you've been in school, you know how stupid that is. Because a place that, uh, oh yeah, these are other things, we'll talk about those. But, you know, a, a market where nobody is looks like this, right? Nobody is, nobody's there for a reason, right? It's, you're not the smartest person in the world. A lot of people are probably thinking the same idea that you are. Or people probably already have tried it and failed. Uh, because you don't know about them, it means that it didn't work, right? He compared that to this. This is a market where everybody has, uh, you know, a tiny square. They all sell the same thing, probably, or very similar things, right? So this is the ultimate competition. But look at all the foot traffic, right? Here's this customers. In a, in, a, in, a, in a new area, there are no customers yet. You have to, uh, you have to uh, mark. If you want to do something very strange, very new, you have to teach people why they need it, right? That's a very expensive thing. Here, it's clear. I sell this thing, you know what it is because everybody else is selling it, but I have this little tiny angle that makes me different. And so you buy from me. Maybe it's customer service. Maybe it's the product itself that's a little better, uh, right? Maybe I'm a little cheaper. Uh, but still, people know that they know what to expect, they know they're already spending money for that. They, they're looking for something a little better. It's so much easier to sell to someone. There's this concept called share of wallet. You know about that? Basically, that people have this much money to spend on software, for instance, or on uh, uh, food or appliances. They're just deciding how to split that money between different products, right? It's, you can't put more money in their wallet so that they can spend that extra on your thing, on your new thing. It's better to, to steal from somebody else, some, some, something else, to replace something else that they're already doing now and that maybe they're frustrated with, than to create something completely new. That's a very, very expensive thing uh, to, to do. Um, so competition is good. I always say, try to find a market where uh, there's maybe two or three successful players, but you have an angle that they don't. Right? You have something that maybe they are stuck in the 80s and you can do what they do, but in a much modern way. And, uh, and they can't do that because their, their people are all in their 50s and you're 25 and you know Twitter, you know everything, right? You know, you know that it, it's just a generational advantage that you have, cultural thing. Or, I don't know, maybe you have a, you have a better product, right? You, you built something, I don't know, uh, different chemical compound that you came up with or, you know, that, that, that they, uh, they don't have. So, but if there are two or three successful players, there's probably room for you to in that same market.